Hi, I'm Holly, and I've got something on my mind. Let's talk about cavernomas. You may be watching this video because you or someone you love has a cavernoma. Or, you've been watching the Netflix series Away, and in your search for knowledge, you've ended up here. Cavernomans are lesions of blood vessels that tangle and cluster together, making a shape that looks a lot like a raspberry. Cavernomas can be any size, and you can have more than one. They're usually found in the brain, but on some rare occasions, they're also found in the spine. And it's considered a rare condition, some people can have a cavernoma and not experience any symptoms whatsoever. For those of us who do have symptoms though, it can sometimes be tricky to live with, and sometimes even life-threatening. Depending on the location of the cavernoma lesion, symptoms can vary from patient to patient. The most common symptoms for people who have active cavernomas are migraines, chronic fatigue, mental fog, and seizures, tics, or tremors. There can be many other symptoms though that can be caused by a cavernoma swell or bleed. There can be a difference in symptoms from patient to patient. For instance, my cavernoma is located in my left temporal lobe, really close to the Broca's area. This area of my brain controls speech, motor skills, behavior, and language. When my cavernoma swells or bleeds, I can experience speech problems where I know what I want to say, but I can't communicate to my mouth. I also experience severe chronic migraines, so severe that they can be debilitating and or cause vomiting. On top of that, I can get chronic fatigue syndrome and also tremors. CCMs, or cerebral cavernoma malformation, can be genetic, so this means you can inherit cavernomas or pass them down to your children. CCM doesn't discriminate, so it doesn't discriminate against age, gender, or race. It's possible to live with a cavernoma and not even realize you have one. Until you experience symptoms, they're usually not found, and they're only ever found when looking for some other illness. It's possible to live your life and not even realize you have a cavernoma. Most people who get diagnosed only do so because they've had a stroke, been in a car accident, or had an MRI for other underlying issues. The other problem about CCM is that it's not well known. So even when your doctor or a nurse discovers it, sometimes they've never even heard of cavernomas, or even if they have, they don't really know much about it. This is not helpful for those who are diagnosed with a cavernoma, because it means you're left sitting there with thousand questions that your health professional can't answer properly. Luckily though, there is hope. Cavernomas are becoming more and more talked about daily, and thanks to people like the Cavernoma Society, there is lots more information out there for patients like you and me. So if you want to find out more about cavernomas, head on over to the Cavernoma Society. And thanks for watching and letting me get my cavernoma off my mind.